All right, welcome to my podcast. Um, I'm here with some guests. Hello. State your names, please. Elijah Dewey. Um, Armani. What are we? Israel. All right. Today we're going to be asking our contestants a few questions about their life and what they do for a living. All right, Elijah, do it. How do you? How is life going for you? My life is pretty like mid. <laughs> I do a lot. But I like messing with teachers. That's a fact. Oh, right, that is so boring. Wow. I climbed a mountain yesterday, and I jumped off, and I rolled. I got a question. Oh. I have a question. So do you take more steps than a taller person? Like a taller person take less steps. Than you? I'm gonna stop you right there, cause I am below the average height, and we don't need to Sir. get into this. Armani, you're not normal. Let me get my wig. What do you think Armani's gonna do? He's gonna act like a total. I am offended because short people, short people must be respected. Dick and tired of the stuff that Elijah says about me. I'm just so tired of it. It's just shorty. Short people are amazing and you're just a hater because are amazing at not how's the weather up there buddy can i say something for the podcast how's the weather whoa whoa not to be offensive or anything uh-huh. but short people stu- uh-huh. suck uh-huh. i'm Period. i'm average height so i'm i'm good um short people suck amazing no, no they don't they you're suck short. you're short i'm not short you're small <laughs> yeah all right um so now we're interviewing another candidate for prom king Shamar Harding. Um, Shamar, some would say you're the hero of the school and you put the prep on the map, as quoted by, I believe, uh, Arian Howell. I really did a lot. I've been in school since kindergarten, you know, I never switched up like everybody else did for me. I held it down. But I want to say it'd be only me, but, you know, I'm part of the reason. Not I mean, to be cocky. Some might say you carried the basketball team. Oh, yeah, I did. For four years. Three, four years, three well, years, really. Three years, yeah, right. Three years straight. Yeah. Average 18 points per game. So um, yeah, let's average. start with, let's keep it on the basketball track. How many wins have you racked up? Oh, so like seven. How, how many? Three years, seven. Oh, Zero. gosh. I was expecting less. Less? Probably like seven, right? Seven. Seven. I think I think you might be pushing it with seven. Yeah. How much How much you think it is, David? Like three? Yeah. No, no, no. I would say like four no, no, no. five. I would say like, all right, five. I'll say. I no, we'll go with seven. seven. I think seven. that's reasonable. Like Not seven. even LeBron wins every game. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Everybody loses, you know? How many, Some more uh, others. Yeah. How many playoff games have you won? None. How many playoff games have you played in? None. Well, nah, I actually played, well, for this team, I probably, 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 damn, probably played in, like, one. Okay, so let's get a little bit more on topic about this prom king. Why do you desire it so much? I desire it. It's just because, like, like, I've been here, like, it's just, like, I just, I just been here for man long, like, mm-hmm. and I feel like the things I do, for me, around the school, it's like everybody look at me as, like, a leader mm-hmm. and wise, you know, so I feel like I should be prom king. Yeah. How do you feel about your competition, namely Orion Howard? I mean, I'm not really worried about Orion because, like me, like me person, like I don't, I don't lie about my height. Like I don't, I don't lie about my height. Like I could say, like I am deaf, like six three. You know, like you I know? remember. Uh, you know what I'm saying the like, driver's license saying six two. I've heard, uh, namely from some people, that last year, because I was also at prom last year, I heard that. Uh, some said you were robbed of prom king last year. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. I mean. Apparently, you were second place. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I mean, never we were knew all that. There. Yeah, behind Jamari. But yeah. I never knew that. Well, yeah. I, hope, I hope this year I don't get robbed. It could be me too, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so you're part of the Me Too movement? Why would you say you're a better one than Marcus, per se? Because some say that you and Marcus look the same, as Mr. Shipman <laughs> said famously. <laughs> me and Marcus, like, I we get it all the time because every time we get from our same hair done, they gonna be like Marcus twin, Marcus twin. But I feel like I feel like Marcus is really no competition to me. Like, come on, especially now. on the court. Especially on the court. You have any closing statements? I'm just saying, like, why should the people vote for you? Because like, I really, I brought I, I brought it to the school. Like, I brought it. Like. I just like simple as that. I'm not gonna say too much. I just brought it. Like, if you couldn't vote for yourself, who would you vote for prom queen? Hmm. Rigo. I, I like that for prom queen. It's a good uh, vote. 
Yeah. It's going to be a real close race. I think Matai's up there, Yusuf's up there. Rigo's definitely got a few votes going. <laughs> yeah. Prom Queen's going to be the place to, uh, to watch. Yeah. I, I don't know why the, the boys are winning Prom Queen this year, but it's a little interesting. Forget Shamar, forget Arion. Let's get, yeah, let's get, yeah. Let's get Kayla for Prom King. I could see that. Mm-hmm.